that feels pretty good. Now that we're pretty much ready to fire up the motor, the first thing I want to do is literally put oil in the, in the engine because <laughs> we don't want to fire up this engine without oil. So I already took the filter back out, but I wanted to properly uh, fill the oil filter before we install it. We also got some high zinc um, oil. I mean, it's used for like, you know, push rod, flat tap it, even though this engine's not a flat tap it, it's a hydraulic roller. For those of you that don't know what a flat tap it is, it's the lifter and the lifter that doesn't have a roller on, that's what a flat tap it is. But we'll just use this because it's got uh, apparently some high zinc and it's good for engine break-in. So I'll go ahead and I'll fill up the filter. Let that soak in a little bit. Because I really don't want to fire this thing up and have uh, like an oil bubble inside the uh, oil galley. I also have a uh, engine oil primer that I may use if I can get to it easily. The other thing is too, like you don't want to like overfill the filter too because sometimes if you fill it all the way up to like top of the threads and when you're screwing it on, you'll start to get oil that runs down the filter. This level is looking pretty good. I'll add just a little bit more and then I'll use some of this oil right here and I'll lube up the filter. And the reason why you lube up the ring is that if this ring is dry and you're tightening it on, there's a possibility that the ring will catch the metal uh, where it sits and it will dislodge the ring from the filter. And if that happens, you're getting an oil leak, get an oil leak, you're gonna lose oil and you're gonna blow your motor. Now that that's all full, we'll go ahead and install it on the car. And when you're installing an oil filter, it's always good to just uh, install it pretty much just like the hand tight thickness. You don't need to overdo it. Again, if you don't do it, you're going to crush the O-ring too much and also possibly damage it. Also, the other thing too is when you're installing this, make sure that the uh, seat that the filter sits in is clean. It looks pretty clean, but I'm just going to go over it once with the rag just to be safe. It looks really good. See, the other cool thing about this too, about the K&N filter guys, is that it's got this little uh, tightening, uh, little like nut, I don't know what to call it, but you know, it definitely will help by getting it off especially when you have like an oil pan like this where you can't fully uh, grip it around with your hand. <sighs> that feels pretty good. So yeah, oil filter's installed. Now we can go ahead and fill the engine up with oil.